taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. So, like, say, we're back with another video, guys. I just wanted to do an update on Zen. Um, I haven't spoken about Zen in a short while. Um, I actually forgot about Zen. Not completely forgot, but put, put it to the back of my mind because, you know, let's face it, I'm not actually buying Zen. I have bought some Zen and sold some Zen, right? But uh, we mint Zen for free, or those of us that got it from the beginning, we're minting Zen for free. So I'm waiting for a bunch of Zen, uh, not Zen states, but Zen mints to actually uh, materialize, uh, materialize, right? And um, claim some Zen. I've done my calendars, uh, so I know when all of my Zen is going to drop. I've, I've minted Zen on the Ethereum network, Polygon. Avalanche, Phantom, uh, Evmos, um, what else? A bunch of networks, right? I've minted Zen on. So I'm waiting to claim Zen on all of those networks. All right, guys. So um, I haven't been buying Zen. Um, so I have missed what's going on. Okay, but I did see this tweet from Jack Levin. And somebody uh, put something in the Telegram. They were talking about Zen was pumping, right? So Zen has, has actually been pumping. What you can see here is the Zen chart. Which is looking pretty bullish. Um, you got Jack Levin saying that Zen is having its own Santa Claus rally, which is hard to ignore. Volume and liquidity more than doubled, and so on. And they've got an audit coming soon. So uh, when we go over to the chart on Dex Tools, and of course this is on MEXC Exchange and a few a bunch of exchanges, right? You can see that the volume is looking pretty bullish. That's pretty bullish volume, right? So all this volume over here where Zen did about a 10x, right? It's come down again, made a new low, right? But um, what we're seeing is some nice little sentiment in this chart and in a few altcoins, very selective altcoins, right? But this is looking pretty bullish. Could this be a bottom for Zen? All right, guys, the minting, of course, would have slowed down and, um, you know, you can quickly get your hands on a bunch of Zen by buying it, right? If you don't want to mint it and wait for the mint, because in order to get a decent amount of Zen, you need to mint it for a, a longer period of time. And um, some people are not going to want to miss out on the next 10x move, right? Or the next, you know, 10,000x or whatever, like hex or whatever, right? So let's just lower the time frame. So you can see this is quite a bullish bit of volume right some nice accumulation over here and uh, you know some people are you know hex maxis and they don't like zen or whatever me i spread the love right i like to diversify I'm minting it for free so got no complaints with zen right this is of course the um the the ethereum uh chart right because you've got a bunch of charts you've got the phantom zen you've got the uh, the polygon zen you've got the binance zen and, and so on right but um yeah the ethereum chart of course, I haven't checked out all the charts. Let's just focus on the Ethereum one. This is the main one. This is uh, For me, I would have preferred if Zen only launched on Ethereum. But um, I'm not a marketing genius, right? So Jack Levin, knows, I'm, I'm guessing he knows what he's doing. So let's just go with whatever. You know, he, he, he knows best, right? So he launched it on a bunch of networks. Well, you can see the Ethereum one moving. The volume's looking pretty decent. Um, I'm not sure if there's something that I'm missing um maybe it's the zen the zen nfts or the zen nfts that everyone's been talking about right um i'm not sure if they've launched yet or whatever because like i said i haven't been following it you know i've just been preoccupied with other things and so on but if we just focus on what's happening right now the chart is actually pumping it's moving right but you know would i be me uh, would i be buying it? i'm not actually buying it so there's no point talking about whether i would be or what but um yeah, it's looking bullish, guys. I'm hoping that, you know, if this goes back to all-time highs, right? Because uh, the amount of Zen I had minted at the time, which I've actually minted a lot more since then, it was worth um, almost 180k, right? And, of course, it's worth probably next to nothing, like <laughs> nowhere near that right now with a huge drop that it's had, of course, with people taking profits, which is always going to happen with a free mint. But um, I haven't sold any. I've just been holding it, apart from what I bought and sold um previously right sorry after the launch right i bought a little bit of zen uh over here um and i made a little video about it and it pumped and i took some profits right um but right now you know all i've got to look forward to is my free zen what i've minted uh when i claimed that uh so we're looking at future gains right so yeah this is one that i put to the back of my mind i don't look at the chart which nobody should be really you know 
focusing too hard on the chart if they're minting you know you should have a long-term perspective on this because at the end of the day you can't claim you're zen until you get it anyway but it is hot trending number three right now so um yeah there's something bullish going on with zen right now i just thought i'd do a quick update um and kind of remind myself that right this this you know this is probably you know if this pumps if this goes absolutely nuts, this will probably be one of my biggest holdings with the amount of wallets and the, on the amount of networks that I've actually minted. All right, guys. So I am hoping that Zen can be a success. And I am hoping that it can give, you know, all of us those hex-like gains. All right, guys. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do an update on Zen, Zen Crypto. Um, go and follow Jack Levin on Twitter, who's keeping the people updated. Of course, he founded it. Um, if you know anything about his background, he was the first Google backend architect and number 10 or something like at Google, something like that, right? So he's got a bit of a reputation in the space, um, really revolutionized a launch, probably the biggest launch I've ever seen on in crypto with Zen Crypto. All right, guys. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Zen is bullish? Is it a waste of time minting it now? Is it a waste of time buying it? Is it too risky? Let me know what you think. But I think it's bullish, guys. But that being said, it's the end of the video. Do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Going into 2023, I want to give you guys some bullish content. So please subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the very next video. Thank you.